What's going on guys? This is Joe and I'm back once again for our second of two prize pack opening videos. We have Dominari packs on this side, Corset 2019 packs on this side. Uh, since we had eight of each, we did four and four in the last video and now we're doing the last four and four in this video. As we did last time, we are gonna open Dominari first. It is the older set and we will finish off with the current slash newer set of Corset 2019. So, we have a Teferi pack first from Dominaria. And we have from Dominaria an Invoke the Divine, a Vidalian Arcanist. Okay, I could just drop that one, that's cool. We have a Mammoth Spider, a Cabal Paladin, Sparring Construct, Gideon's Reproach. Look at him just punching that dude in the face. I love that. Uh, a Lanoir Elves. Welcome back, Lanoir Elves. Thalid Omnivore, a Skittering Surveyor, Academy Drake, a Chainer's Torment is a Saga and our first uncommon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I said it in the last video, I'll say it again, that I love the design space for the vertical artwork. I feel like um, too many wouldn't be a great idea. Like if they did it in like every set, I feel like it would get a little old, but um, just the idea that it was completely new and there were so many different options that they could go with, this was really sweet. Plus obviously the story implications of all of the sagas are awesome. We have a Thorn Elemental classic. I, yeah, my nostalgia hit goes off for this card almost more than any other in this set. Um, Thorn Elemental, I remember playing with this card so much back in the day and somewhat knowing what it did because you know I was much younger and so <clears throat> when you're younger and playing magic unless you play competitively um, when we would play just in high school this uh, yeah this card was was definitely used properly and then not properly at all uh, oh and we have an Urza's Ruinous Blast as a legendary sorcery speaking of uh, story implications this is amazing I love I mean I love it I love it so much it's so amazing the 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 story that it depicts plus the art itself is gorgeous shout outs and great job to Noah Bradley so yeah uh, absolutely amazing and then our uh, legend is likely an uncommon it is it is Valduk Keeper of the Flame very very cool behind Valduk a Plains and, this is a nice looking planes, and a Sapperling token. Not that I haven't seen it before, but I still wanted to comment on how good it looked. <clears throat> we have Karn next. Look at how shiny Karn is, even on the front of the pack. So cool. All right. Come on now. That's not nice. Okay. We did it. Don't worry. Hey, look. I like this guy. We have a Homerid Explorer to start. A Gitu Lava Runner. Adamant Will, look at that, so cool. I love that, that just the idea of like stained glass being hard enough to make up a shield. Whoops, I missed one. We have an Opt with Teferi on it. Why would I want to miss that? So cool. Uh, a Feral Abomination, <laughs> this card is like haunting. A Lanoir Envoy, an Academy Journey Mage, Keldon Overseer, Baloth Gorger, Guardians of Koilos, a Cast Down is our first uncommon. A Goblin Barrage is our second. Ooh, and an Oath of Teferi is the third. Um, fine, I mean, Teferi took his oath, right? That that was actually a story spoiler when we, <laughs> when we saw this card um, because we had not obviously gotten to that point in the story yet because I'm pretty sure that was like the last uh, episode, if you will, of the story. So the, the cards had been out for quite some time by then and, and spoiled of course before then. So here is the Oath of Teferi and then our legend slot is a Shauna Sisse's Legacy. So uh, a crew of the Weatherlight uh, member, which is amazing. So here is Shauna. I liked her a lot in the stories. I, I'm looking forward to when we return to Dominaria way in the future. I don't want to do it anytime soon, um, but I'm looking forward to when we return to see what else the, they can do design-wise with the Weatherlight crew. Uh, hoping to see more of her, especially with her interactions with um, characters like Raph. She did a really good job there. So there's Shauna. Behind Shauna, a Swamp and a Sapperling token. Two more Dominaria packs left. You're gonna get real tired of seeing this card, or this front of the pack, because spoilers, the one after this, oh, oh, okay. But the one after this is uh, Karn as well. So, 
we start, come on now, don't be falling all over the place. There we go. We have an opt to start. A get to journey mage. An invoke the divine. Mammoth spider again. I did this again. We have a cabal paladin this time though, because before it was opt and we already got that one out of this pack. A rampaging cyclops. A divination. A vicious offering. So cool. Love the art. A short sword. Very, very historic. A Memorial to Folly is our first uncommon. Thalid Soothsayer. And our rare is a Benelish Marshal. I, I feel like we got to this pretty quickly, so maybe we have a foil back here somewhere. Um, but here's a Benelish Marshal. Uh, again, I, I actually don't remember the layout of these packs, whether our Legend slot would be next or the foil, but we'll find out in a second. It's the foil. It's a foil mountain. Like I said, I wasn't sure. That's actually really sweet in foil. I like that. Very, very cool. Foil basics, I, I don't know. I, I have a weird feeling with foil basics. Like, you know, it could be something so much more valuable, but at the same time, like, foil basics are so few and far between, and if this is someone's favorite art and they're looking for it in foil, there probably aren't a ton of them. So, yeah, uh, I, I like it. It also looks gorgeous because the land arts always look really good. So there you go. And our legend slot now is a Tatiova Benthic Druid. I like this card quite a bit. I did not really get a chance to use it back when Dominaria was the set, um, but I'm hoping to somehow be able to try. We'll see. We have a mountain and a soldier token. Like I said, you were gonna get tired of seeing Karn. It's our third, our fourth, excuse me, and final Dominaria pack. Let's see what we have. I'm always just, you know, value would be nice. These are prize packs. So we won them in events um, that we played. I'd like to get more value out of my event entries, always. Um, and this is one of the ways that you can do it. So let's see between this and our core set packs if we can get some value today. We have a Hummered Explorer first. A Gitu Lava Runner. Sarah Disciple. Talarian Scholar. Lanawar Envoy. A Calico Skin Witch, or Caligo Skin Witch. Another Short Sword. A Blessed Light. So good looking, this card. I love it. Keldon Overseer. Academy Journey Mage. Fight with Fire. Another sweet piece of art. Uh, kind of the spoiler art that we got for this set was Jaya Ballard making the fire as she likes to do because she's Jaya Ballard. Um, so yeah, I liked this card quite a bit. Uh, behind it, a Knight of Malice and a Board the Weatherlight and our Rare or Mythic, which is a legend because we had three uncommons in a row, is Grand Warlord Rada. I think Amy and I from this channel uh, liked this card possibly more than anybody else because we had just read the story where she was introduced before this set came out. So I was super happy to see Rada back. I was super happy to see Rada in the stories. Other people, not so much, and I don't blame them for that. I understand that it was because you know, my relationship with Rada is because we had just read her story, which is why we were so happy to see her. But still, I'm happy to see Grand Lord, Warlord Rada. Plus, I did get to play with this one, and it was a lot of fun. Super helpful with Kicker, which is what Red and Green wanted to do. So, behind Grand Warlord Rada, a Swamp, and a Sapperling token. So, uh, that's it for Dominaria. Let's move on to Corset 2019 with Tezzeret to start. This one looks like we'll have... Eh, okay, whatever. I was gonna say it looks like we'll have some variants with pack arts, unlike the last one, but no, there's only two. <laughs> two different pack arts between four packs, so that's fine. <laughs> uh, we have a Dwindle, Sure Strike, a Mighty Leap, a Omen Speaker, Bog Stomper, a Greenwood Sentinel, Centaur Corsair, Vampire Neonate, Avon Wind Mage, an Explosive Apparatus, Aegis of the Heavens. I like I like the art on this card a lot. Uh, I think Amy has said uh, a couple times now that she is not a huge fan. But uh, yeah, it. I think it looks cool. An Arcane Encyclopedia and 
a uh, surge mare. So it is the blue version of the horse cycle or the mare cycle. And this is a horse fish. Probably the, hopefully, the only time we ever see that typing on a creature. Uh, and, our, <laughs> and our rare or mythic is... A Dragon's Horde. Very cool. I, I've heard a lot of people liking this one. Maybe it's just for limited, um, but if it ever makes it into constructed, it could be some value. So here's Dragon's Horde. We have a Foul Orchard, so not a basic land. Always nice to see. And a Soldier Token. Gorgeous Soldier Token. Okay, we have another Tezzeret pack. As I said, not too much variance. But then we have to start, a Knight's Pledge. Anticipate. Doomed Dissenter. Come on. A Rock's Oracle. Smelt. Druid of the Cowl. Very nice mana dork there. A Sky Scanner. Snapping Drake. Lich's Caress. Sweet removal spell. You gain some life, but you get to just destroy a creature, which is much, much more important. A Take Vengeance. Speaking of sweet removal spells, this one's somewhat conditional, but still, you're likely going to have tapped creatures on the other side of the field. And a Volley. Veteran is our first uncommon. So those were two good common removal spells as well. But here's a Volley Veteran, a Rise from the Grave, and a Hyromancer's Cage. If you saw it there, it looks like our Rare or Mythic is at least an artifact, and it is... A Transmogrifying Wand. So interesting, this card. Plus, once again, shoutouts to YouTube for the spoiler that was given to Loading Ready Run. So, here is Transmogrifying Wand. We have a Submerged Boneyard. Another non-basic land. And, an <laughs> and another Soldier Token. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, like I said, we didn't have too much variance. The second Planeswalker uh, on the art for the packs is a Johnny. I like a Johnny. He is my favorite planeswalker, so not quite upset to see him twice in a row. Spoilers. Uh, but yeah, here's a Lava Axe, Knight of the Tusk, Macabre Waltz, an Elvish Rejuvenator. We have a Salvager of Secrets, a Sovereign's Bite, Boggart Brute, Wall of Mist. I love the art on this card. It just looks so cool. A Rabid Bite. I like this card, I feel like, more than most. This card, I think, is amazing. Just the fact that it's not a fight. It just deals the damage. So, so cool. Combined with Death Touch Creatures, card's amazing. Even without Death Touch Creatures, card's amazing. Here is another of the Horse Cycle. This is the White Horse, and it is the Shield Mage, or Shield Mare. It's not a mage at all. <sighs> a Regal Bloodlord and a Herald of Faith. The more angels, the better. And our rare or mythic is... a Bone Dragon Mythic. Interesting, if you watched the last video. Uh, but here is a, a mythic, our first mythic, and it's a Bone Dragon, at least our first mythic of this opening, of course. <clears throat> but we have a Bone Dragon. Behind the Bone Dragon, ooh, a foil non-basic land in Meandering River. Very, very cool. Do we get another non-basic behind it, or do we get a basic behind it? That's kind of funny. We get a basic. Okay, that's fair, I think. I think that's fair. Uh, in, in a swamp, and then a thopter token. Very cool. Like I said, a Johnny again, it is our last pack for the video. It is our last course at 2019 pack for this one. We got a mythic already, although I do not think super valuable mythic. Um, but let's see. <clears throat> We have a Sure Strike again to start. Another Mighty Leap. Another Omen Speaker. Another Goblin Instigator. Uh, noticing a pattern. Bristling Boar. Child of Night. Star Crowned Stag I like quite a bit. A Totally Lost. Centaur Courser. Crash Through. A Ghast Bark Twins. I like this art a lot. I think the card's a little expensive, to be honest. Um, I, I opened two in one kit, uh, and it, it, at pre-release, and it felt really awkward, because running two seven drops is a really hard sell. Uh, a Ravenous Harpy, and a Sleep. I like this card a lot. And our last rare or mythic, our last card is... A Chaos Wand. I like the art on this one. Uh, 
again, definitely not valuable, but it's a Chaos Wand. There it is behind it, a Planes and a Thopter token. So we only opened one Mythic today. Like I said, not super valuable, but I'll show it anyway, because why not? Uh, as I talk to all of you so that you can see it, popping up on the screen will likely be our logo. If you click on that, you can subscribe. That would help us out. Plus, if you're interested in our videos, it helps you out because you get to find out when they come out. Uh, also, we have videos on the side that I think you might like. So if you feel free to click on those, if it is a jar video, it will talk about the story, right? We have been talking about the uh, Corset 2019 stories, waiting for the Guilds of Ravnica stories, uh, looking forward to those coming out, and we will keep going, reviewing stories, and until, you know, until we can't anymore, really. Um, but hopefully you guys are enjoying those. If you are, if you haven't seen them yet, please go check them out. Uh, we have been enjoying making them. Some people have been enjoying watching them, which we appreciate. Uh, and there's other openings as well. So definitely go check that stuff out. This has been another Corset 2019 and Dominaria prize pack openings video. I have been Joe. This has been Geek for All. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.